This is the town site of Nanup, about three hours south of Perth in the southwest of Western Australia, sort of between Bustleton and Pemberton. This is the old railway bridge crossing the Blackwood River in Nanup. What do you do with the guinea fowls? They are our insect control. They eat the bugs in the orchard. I've come down to Chestnut Bray, an organic chestnut farm just south of Nanut, to have a look at chestnuts. Because to be honest, I don't know anything about chestnuts other than I've heard you can roast ch chestnuts and have roasted chestnuts. So we're going to have a look around. In the distance, the harvest is working. We're going to go over and have a look at that. And we're going to find out what do you do with chestnuts. This is the larger of the two chestnut orchards at Chestnut Bray. This one has 800 trees, the other one has 200 trees, total of 1,000. Now the chestnuts drop off the trees and they're harvested by the harvester which we saw earlier. They drop off, sometimes they're green like that and they look spiky and believe me they are spiky. They, Or they drop off brown with the shell almost out or the shell gets ejected as they drop off but anyway there's a chestnut and that still has a shell on it which needs to be either removed with the shell removing machine or roasted and you put the cuts on it so it's easy to peel and it stops the chestnut from exploding now you can come to chestnut bray and have a chestnut experience you get a, a bit of a tour a look around see the whole process, the harvesting, the sorting, uh, the products made from chestnuts, walk around the orchard and have a look at the farm animals. It's a very pleasant place to have a walk around. chestnuts can be used to make anything and almost everything. It's a walnut tree. Have you ever seen a walnut growing? I haven't. There it is. Green, still packaged up, ready to go. Have you got one there, Linda, or a dried one? 
So well, they start off in that outer shell, the green, green stuff, thingy. That drops off. That drops off and leaves the inner shell. Yeah. And there you have it. Looks like a, a real walnut. Right, we're going to put a marinette in the dam. We've got this marinette with a piece of meat suspended. We're going to toss it in, leave it in for a little while, and then have a look. Um, it's a catch and release. It's just purely to see what is in the dam. Oh, one, Whoa, couple two of, big couple, ones. A couple of good ones. Nice. And it's a female. Females, you can say that mm. goes, but that's a good size, isn't it? It is a good size. Okay, you can live another day. Let's have a look at you. Another female. Okay, you can live another day too. We're about to get a demo on how to cook a chestnut because I don't actually know how to cook a chestnut. So John and Linda, who have 1,000 chestnut trees, are going to show us how. So, they're kept in the fridge for up to three to four weeks. And the reason is chestnuts are technically a fruit because they're 60% water and you need to keep them as a solid nut. 60% water. That means if we don't put a cut in them, they'll explode. Feel them there. 